Welcome, people of Barbell Crew. This is the first installment of Deadlift Physics, and I'll try not to bore you guys to death because I know firsthand how fucking boring physics is. So let's get straight into it and make your deadlift more efficient with speed. So right here you see the bar path and these are the two joints that I have which will create moment arms with the bar path. And why these moment arms are important is because it dictates what amount of torsion I'll create, so how much torque I'll create in the lift. So torque is determined by three variables, force, angle of force, and also moment arm. And how is it determined by these three factors? The direction of the force is going upwards, the amount of force can be seen going that way, and the moment arm is dictated by the direction of the force and is perpendicular, 90 degrees. And explain why I'm in this position because you could argue a better position would be having my knees behind the bar and being positioned like this instead, like most deadlifters do, because that produces more torque. Because I'm in this position, my knees are in front of the bar, if I show you here, and that creates a moment arm there, therefore I will proportionally deactivate my posterior chain and activate my quads however the lift hasn't even started i'll explain by showing you this video in slow motion when i get down to the bar i'm in position and when i start the lift before i even start the lift i'm accelerating and then i get into a position where my my shins are perpendicular with the floor so it's 90 degrees and i'm in that position that i explain where i have more torque and why this is important is because when I'm when I'm coiled up down like this and I move, I displace my body a certain amount, I will accelerate. And why this is important is because the barbell and the plates are inert. So this brings in inertia. And the theory behind inertia is that, imagine pulling a box and there's a thread connected to the box and there's a thread connected underneath the box in order to break inertia so in order to move this box imagine pulling on this thread completely slowly it will take longer for those threads to break right and if you were to yank the thread the threads will completely snap and the object would start moving and why this is important is because this generates momentum and once you break inertia and generate momentum the bar will go fast enough for you not to even lift the bar I'm just gonna explain this in layman's terms so, so you guys can understand completely so when I start pulling the bar I've moved a certain amount and I've applied my force to the bar and right now I'm not even pulling the bar anymore momentum is carrying the bar all the way up to the chest imagine pulling 260 kilograms with this implemented once you produce momentum in the bar you won't need to apply as much force to carry through with the lift therefore that initial amount of acceleration because you are called up a little bit more will create more momentum break inertia therefore your entire lift will be more efficient i hope this helps you guys just a little bit it's hard to get into this position and get it right straight away because activating every single muscle might be difficult to begin with because it's a bit of a shock to the body and i recommend wearing your belt as tight as possible and also i'll come back and speak about my positioning if this gets over 100 likes 
and hopefully this helps you guys apply it come back to this video and there should be the next one if it gets enough traction so leave some comments below if you have any questions and i will get to them thank you for watching and peace out Keep up. Keep up. Keep up.